May the Lord bless and keep you. Let me say this. I was thinking, why do people who don't want to come out of sin go around and tell other people about God? And what came to my mind it is a demon. Don't you know that the Bible teaches against that? If you are sinning, how can you tell someone what they should do when you are in darkness as well? How can you do that? If you are having sex before a marriage, how can you tell other people you need to stop cursing or you need to stop having sex before marriage? This is why I believe <clears throat> that many people believe that Christians are hypocrites because they are seeing these lukewarm, sinful people go around and try to correct or instruct people about God. Let me say this. Back when I was in sin, I don't think I was ever trying to teach other people about God. This one time, or around that time, how can I say this? I was dating a person when I was going to this church and I was taking her to church as well. And she did not know, I don't think she knew anything about God. And I was telling her who God is or something like that. But other than that, I don't think I was teaching her as in, you need to stop this, you need to stop that, and things like that. I don't think I was. Because how could I tell her that she needs to get out of sin when I am in sin. How could I tell her to be right with God <laughs> when we are having sex before marriage? How crazy would that be? How foolish would that be of me? Girl, you need to get out of sin because what you are doing is wrong, but at the same time, I am cursing and talking dirty and stuff like that. Foolish. Even before that, when I was in sin, I knew things of God, but to be quite honest, even when I came to God, and started to live for him, I never really wanted to really tell other people about God. I was more of a person that would stay to myself. I had a person <laughs> drunk with a pint or whatever you call it of alcohol, alcohol and his hand. And he was telling me about God, drunk with alcohol in his hand, telling me about God. Now that person was right <laughs> in what he was saying. <laughs> that person was right 
but you are drunk. <laughs> How can you teach me about God while you are intoxicated? Dumb stuff like that. There was someone else that went to church pretty much the same amount as me. But that person is choosing to stay in sin now. And this person was <laughs> preaching to me about God for about 20 minutes or so. And I did not want to be rude and correct that person because I knew that it would be a problem. But I was sitting there and I was thinking, since you know so much, since you are teaching me, <laughs> teaching me about God, why aren't you following it? Why are you still playing around with God? Let me say this. <laughs> People are going to look at your life first before they fully listen to you. People are going to look at your life first before you fully, before they fully listen to you. In some cases, you don't have to say anything to some people because they draw inspiration from the way that you live. In some cases, you don't have to say anything if you are living a life that pertains to God, living by his rules and regulations, in many cases, you don't have to say anything because people are going to see what you are doing and say to themselves, perhaps, hey, if Kevin can do it, I can do it as well because I know Kevin. I know how Kevin is. Kevin is an average, <laughs> everyday person. So if Kevin can do it, I can do it too. So pretty much your largest ministry is the way that you live your life. I don't know if this is making sense to you. Your largest ministry is the way that you live your life because if, my Lord, I don't care, people don't care how well you can teach or preach. People don't care how well you can prophesy. If you are not living by the rules and regulations of the Bible, they are going to reject you. Well, there are going to be some lukewarm people that are going to stay with you no matter what. But many people are not going to listen to you. Why should they? If you are telling people what not to do, but you are doing what you are telling other people to not to do, but you are doing it. Why would people listen to you? You are giving Christians, true servants of God, a bad name. Stop that. Listen. <clears throat> I believe, <laughs> and I tell people this too, I am a boring guy. I really don't have anything exciting in life. I really don't. All I do is research about God, try
trying to increase more in God and get other people to come to God. That is pretty much all I do. And I think about other ways on how I can reach people. That's it. Even though I believe I have a boring life, people watch me like a hawk. <laughs> and <laughs> I am thinking, <laughs> why do you want to watch me? I am boring. I don't really have anything. Why watch me? I am an everyday guy. Even being that way, I am still watched so much. Kevin, what is your point? Okay. No matter if you are boring or whatever else, when you live for God, people are going to notice. It is going to draw people's attention. So if you are living the way that God wants you to live, people are going to notice and perhaps you can get more people to come to God. So, listen, man, if you are not serving God, stop going around telling people that you serve God. Stop that. That is going to give more people an excuse to not come to God when they see you going around teaching people about God, but you are sinning as much as ever. Stop that. There was maybe, I forget when, but there was a woman that asked for my help a while back. And I was thinking, I don't think this woman really wants my help. I believe she is coming to me for another reason. And surely I found out what the reason was. And I was thinking, you are a nice looking woman. It is easy for you to pick or choose pretty much any guy you really want. Why would you come to me in that way when you know that I teach about God? It is not hard for you to find other men. Why would you come to a very boring average guy as me and try to get me to whatever when there are other guys that are in sin that is looking for girls like you. <laughs> why, why come to me in that way? And what that woman told me, well, Kevin, there are other people or other guys that teach about God, but they are still in sin. They teach one way, but act in another way. Hey, I am not that way. Go on with that stuff. Stay away from me. Don't talk to me in that way because I am not like that. Christians have a very bad name because of hypocrites. To say that a Christian is a hypocrite, that is a paradox. You can't be a hypocrite and a Christian. 
So if you see a so-called Christian being a hypocrite, that means that person is not a true servant of God. Because a Christian can't be a hypocrite. In order to be a follower of God, you have to be a follower of what he stands for. <laughs> so, if Jesus Christ was not a hypocrite, or is not a hypocrite, how can his follower be a hypocrite? So, if a person claims to be a Christian or a true servant of God, if their ways are not God's ways, what can you say? That person is an imposter, of course. So my point is, if you are not right with God, stop teaching people, stop. Throw away or give away those Christian t-shirts that you have on. You can't minister to anyone if you are in constant sin. You can't. I know that you may want to push God's name to everyone, but you can't do it. You can't do it yet until your life is right with God because you are going to do much more harm than good. There are so many people calling themselves calling themselves Christians. I received a comment earlier and <laughs> I received a comment earlier. This person said to me or messaged me and said I am a homosexual and I am a Christian as well. And what you are teaching about is wrong or something like that. And I am thinking, how can you be a homosexual and a Christian? There are so many people, my Lord, there are so many people that are lukewarm or sinful, calling themselves Christians. Now, homosexuals believe that they can be gay and a Christian as well. How crazy is that? So you call yourself Christian because you acknowledge that there is a God? Do you see what I mean now? You are doing much more harm than good when you go around teaching people when you are in sin. That is crazy. A homosexual told me that he is a Christian. And what he did, he put a smiley face at the end as well to knowing that that guy is wrong, but to mock me he put a smiley face at the end of his message. Which I don't answer foolish things like that. Or when people come to me in that way. So I pray that this makes sense. Take the stickers off your car if you are not living for God. Take them off. Stop wearing those Jesus t-shirts until you begin to live for God rightly. You are doing much more harm than good. I told this other person, <clears throat> let me say this, man. My Lord, it is getting hot in here. <laughs> let me say this. 
out of the many people that I help or try to help, I believe a very small percentage actually follow what I say. You come to me, you ask for my help, you ask for my help, then I tell you what you need to do because I am doing it and I am receiving results from it, but it seems to be hard for you and you stick to your own way. Why even ask me? If doing something doesn't work for you, why do you believe that what I am going to say is going to be similar to what you have been doing? <laughs> so when I give you an answer that goes against your thinking, that is too extreme. Anyways, there was this one person that would ask for my help. And I was telling that person, you have to do things in order. You can't have a ministry before you begin to be obedient to God. What you are doing, my Lord, let me say what is coming to me right now. And I may be wrong about this, but let me say it. And God, please forgive me if I am wrong about this. When you minister to people, telling people about God or doing something to minister to people about God, when you are choosing to not live for God, what is going to happen, your heart is going to harden more and more. Then it is going to be much more difficult for you to begin to live for God. When you begin to minister to people, telling people that they should live for God or doing something to, what can I say? To push God, I guess you can say, to tell more people about God. And you are living in sin, what is going to happen? Your heart is going to harden. So it is going to be much more difficult for you to live for God. I am telling you, I can be wrong about that, but that is what is coming to me right now. And I can be wrong about that. And God, please forgive me if I am wrong about that. That is dangerous. Going around teaching people when you are not right with God. I believe, yes, yes, I believe when you continue to be a hypocrite like that, you are going to begin to believe in your own lies. Even like you may know that you are wrong now, right? But you are still going around teaching people about how to live for God. Pretty soon, you are going to accept the way that you are now and believe that you are right with God. My Lord. <laughs> Dangerous. You have to do things in order. First, get your life right with God. So stop everything that you have going on now, pretty much. Don't minister to anyone else. Get your life right with get your life right with God now. Then God is going to build you up. Then do things of God then. Don't do things for God and then stay in sin. How was that? Oh my Lord. I am not saying this to hurt anyone. I am not saying this to, in, 
embarrass anyone at all. But you have to do things in order. If you don't do things in order, of course, you are going to stay in sin. Let me stop here. God bless you. If this video have helped you in any way, make sure you share it and subscribe. God bless you.